Okay. Greetings. All beautiful people interested in Keshe Tech. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, January 17. And now we have been running four days with the first initial load of these two LED lamps. Total of 16 watts. So we can just see the status now after these four days. Uh, let's see here. I'm sorry to say that my friend with the good uh, video camera is not here today, so we have to do with uh, my mobile. My anyway, this is the incoming, 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 and at least. What I can see, there's, there's no null cutting going on there. And oops, this is the uh, this is on the output from from the unit. And if you look from there, nothing, nothing really has happened there. And uh, that's uh, this is the input. Uh, from the grid to to the unit, this is 18 watts. Oh, is that? That's interesting because then it's a little bit more than when we started. Let's see here. Uh -huh. This is voltage ampere. Ah, oh, okay, no. Yeah, it's 16 watts still, just like, oh, and now it went up. <laughs> okay, so it's like between 16 and 18 watts. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. And this is the maximum it has been drawing, and that's 18 watts, yes. And... This is the total of kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hours. So it's like, uh, so since we started, it has been drawing 1500 watt hours, which is about what to be expected if you have a load of 16 watts. Okay, that's the status. That's it. So next step now, what we want to do, we want to connect uh, another 80 watts of non-resistive load. And we're going to do that with uh, the help of these three fans. So we can just have a look now first and see how much load this will be when we just connect it to the ordinary face here. Let's, uh, I think this is probably what what we'll see. <clears throat> so I'll just uh, oops. Let's see. I'll turn on the first fan here. Okay, that will be 29 watts and 27. When they have been running for a while, they 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 are doing like 27 or 25 watts approximately. So that's that's one. Let's turn on the next one. Mm -hmm. okay, then we have 54 watts load total. And here comes the third one. So we have a total of 85 watts 
load with these three three fans. This was just checking out on the on the non-test phase. So next step we will connect all these three fans to the output side of the power unit. <coughs> Okay, so here we go. Now we are going to connect this 80 watts load uh, for 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 this three fans here. So if you see here, is the two lamps connected to the output of the power unit, and then this cable there goes down to here as you see we are really making an effort to keep track of the hot side all the time of the distribution cables all right uh, let's see now <laughs> so uh, we go back to voltage here. Now let's see. So here, before we connect the fans, we have a 15 watt, 16 watt, approximately from lamp loads. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Turn on one of the fans. So that added some 25 watts more load, non resistive load. Actually, I guess it was. 26 or something. Okay, so that, and now we turn on this second fan. Now we have a total of 70 watts load. And the third fan. Bing. So we are actually at total load of 104 watts. I think it might just go down a little bit when the fans have been running for a while. So there, yeah, there we have 100 watts. <laughs> That's exactly what specified we should have. So I think that would be pretty good. Uh, so we we'll just run on this and. Uh, I will do another report when this section is over and we're going to add more load. Next time we're going to add the first resistive load. Alright, thank you for today and see you later.